Okay. <laughs> I'm getting a few last looks of my current smile. That's right. Tomorrow I am going to the dentist. And I'm going to get the impressions done. And, uh, well, even though the GoFundMe account has proven to be non effective at this point. I did manage to save up almost $500 cash and uh, I did a lot more haircuts. <laughs> Actually, I raised the price of the haircuts by five bucks. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so I'm going to have to give them like 500 cash and then I guess put the rest on my credit card because, you know, uh, it's got to get done. <laughs> and uh, well, Medicare, unfortunately, even though they were willing to pay for the hip replacement surgeries. They they just don't help pay for dentures. They don't help pay for glasses or hearing aids or anything like that. So uh, I just thought, yeah, I'll get <laughs> one last look at my smile before the impressions get done because I am keeping my fingers crossed that when the impressions do get done and the dentures get made that they somehow resemble my current smile. I don't know. It may look completely different. There is no guarantee. But considering I gotta come up with so much money, I am hoping that at least I kind of look like me. Oh, and even though, you know, I'm having to put all of this on a credit card, uh, <laughs> I am going to keep the GoFundMe page going just in case somebody wants to help me pay off that credit card. <laughs> no, seriously, I. I'm just grateful I have a credit card that will allow me to finance this. But, it, you know, dentures are not cheap. And, uh, well, <laughs> I'm not rich. Ah, yeah, wiggling. <laughs> it's almost that time. Yeah, I'm getting ready to head over to go ahead and, uh, <laughs> I guess, get the process started. I've got a little bit of cash that I managed to save and I am going to be putting a major dent in my credit card to be fitted for those dentures today. <laughs> yeah, I mean, literally, it's like the cost of a used car and it kind of messes with my mind because, you know, it's acrylic. It's the same thing that the manicures, the stuff that we, we use to make fake nails. For people acrylic nails <laughs> it's the exact same stuff only it's going to look like teeth and gums <laughs> the pink and white will be pink and gums yeah i i guess i'm ready i'm sport my wonder woman shirt because i'm getting ready to be gagging on a whole bunch of stuff and i'm keeping my fingers crossed that none of these fall out when they pull the gunk out <laughs> Close down just a little bit. The lips are too tight up. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> I like that one much better. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's A1. Uh huh. And that's B1. Yeah. Okay, okay. Now, do you remember which one? Okay, so that's B1. Okay, what do you think? A1? Mm -hmm. I think he won. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of fun. I can't floss anymore, at least the front teeth, but he had to bond them so that they didn't come out when he was doing the impressions. <laughs> and, you know, speaking of when he was doing that impressions, oh my God, I felt like I was gagging just really, truly, because that stuff goes down. At least it seems like it's getting ready to go down your throat and block it off. And he just had to keep telling me, breathe through the nose, breathe through the nose. <laughs> yeah, he's got his work cut out for him. And um, I guess at this point, yeah, I picked out the teeth color A1, the super white, because I figure eventually it's probably going to fade out to a little darker anyway, just like natural teeth do. And, uh, well, I guess, you know, <laughs> I got some time now to save up some more money for that next payment. Uh, they should be ready in about two more weeks for me to look at them and try them on. Ah, much better. Yeah, okay, so I am definitely back from the dentist, and 
they're all bonded together on the underside, which means I'm not going to be able to floss for the remainder that my teeth are in my head. But uh, I guess, as you were saying, the teeth go away, the, the impressions that he did, and then um, they come back, and then he has to test for a, a bite to make sure I can still eat food because I, I do like to eat. <laughs> so uh, and then, like, after he sends that out, it's another two weeks. Basically, it's looking like sometime after Halloween that the dentures will be ready and then my teeth will get removed. So, uh, yeah, hanging on to these for a few more weeks. And that gives me time to come up with some more money. <laughs> you know, by the way, one of the reasons I am choosing to get this over with now <laughs> at 56 is because... I don't want to be that woman who at 70 has to come up with four grand to get my teeth taken care of, you know, and I just, I, I really just don't want a whole bunch of hands in my mouth at age 70 either. Seriously, no, I, my ex-mother-in-law, she's 89, and she is currently contending with having cleanings, quads, you know, deep root cleanings, and that's not comfortable, and it's not cheap. And, you know, she, yeah, she still has some of her teeth, but she's having to have them extracted. 89, <laughs> I don't need that kind of trauma in my life at age 89, much less having to figure out how I'm going to come up with the cash to fund that trauma. So, yeah, I'm having a hard enough time paying for this now at age 56. So it's only going to get more expensive as the years go by, guaranteed. So, yeah, go ahead, rip out my teeth now. Let's get this over with. Yep, <laughs> definitely going to sell this because Mama needs a new set of teeth. <laughs>